Christopher Columbus and his crew became the first Europeans to discover pineapples when they reached Guadeloupe in 1493. The fruit originated in South America and had been cultivated for centuries before Columbus became the first to introduce it to a European audience. Long before the Canadian restaurant owner Sam Panopoulos used it to ruin pizza, and in a time before refined sugar was available, Europeans went wild over the naturally sweet fruit. But unfortunately for them, pineapples can only be grown in a tropical climate, which made them very hard to come by, having to be transported across the Atlantic by boat. This time-consuming and expensive journey often led to the fruit being bruised or rotten by the time it reached its destination. By the 1700s, wealthy Europeans and Americans were able to grow their own pineapples without having to transport them from the Caribbean. Oh. They used greenhouses which were further heated using trenches of steaming hot horse manure to reach the necessary conditions. Because of this expensive and unreliable process, it's estimated that the cost to produce one pineapple would likely have been the equivalent of several thousand dollars in today's money. People would display pineapples at parties as a status symbol with no intention of ever actually eating them. And for people unable to produce their own, pineapples could be rented out so you could show one off to your friends. Fruit would be passed around from party to party until it eventually began to rot or was sold on to someone who would finally eat it. It wasn't until the 1900s when James Dole created the Hawaiian Pineapple Company that the fruit became more widely available and affordable to ordinary people. His company eventually became part of the Dole Food Company, which grew to be one of the largest producers of fruit and vegetables in the world.